got an eye infection. So that's been a real fun time for me. Also, like my acne seems to be eating my chin alive and I'm falling to pieces. I know, got no makeup on. And this is a makeup channel. But never said I was good at it and uh, just said that I liked it. So there's that. Also, YouTube doesn't pay me, so I can do whatever I want. So new releases, there's too many. This is gonna be a stupid long video. I'm so sorry. I already can see it being like 40 minutes. That might just be what happens. All right, so I'm opening my Instagram list, my wish list or not list. Okay, so there's kind of a lot. I'm going back from like a couple of weeks ago. Um, I last posted and there's been like a lot of updates since then. So let's just get into it. Um, I don't even know where to start, bro. Like, what is going on? So these, okay, I guess I'll start with these because these aren't like released, released. They were sneak peeked or whatever. So looks like Rihanna is coming out with blushes and bronzers. I don't know. It's just what it looks like from the picture. Maybe some more highlighters. Um, honestly, it's about time. This is kind of the release I've been waiting for since she originally launched her foundation. Um, and her products are good, like her face powders. Are good from what I've tried of her um, kilowatt highlighters and no one seems to have a problem with any of the other products she has put out um, in fact her fly liner seems to be doing really great right now so she seems to have a really great formulation going so I am excited to try these um, I see this kind of like pinky uh, color I can't tell if that's like a satin or like a shimmer I think it's a highlight I kind of hope it is like I would love a nice like pinky tone highlight from her um, but these other shades like in the back here like that kind of like pinky um, peachy kind of color that's a little deeper and then that like deep bronze my cat is screaming oh I don't have my mic on can I do this without my mic is that gonna be okay why okay so I plugged my mic in like an adult and I didn't turn it on so I was just talking for five minutes in like complete silence okay at least it was just then and not like the whole video that would have been horrible long story short um with the Rihanna blushes and bronzers i'm very excited to see those i really hope that's what i think it is because i mean that would be a really great development for her brand and i would totally buy those i think that would be a really great release but i don't know i'm kind of hoping she saves them for spring i thought like that's more of a spring launch but if we're seeing sneak peeks it'll probably be out by holiday season because it's kind of a good time to like drop products because holidays and like what? i wanted to wait and talk about this until i saw the full thing <laughs> And now that I see it, like, let's talk about it. This is the Natasha Denona Safari eyeshadow palette. It's one of her $129 eyeshadow palettes, so it's a big price tag. <laughs> and, um, so... <laughs> when I first saw this, I was kind of like, oh, okay, like, it's a new color story, I guess. It's just really, really dark. And my biggest concern was... I mean, won't a lot of these colors kind of blend out to look the same because they're so dark and so muted? And then I thought, well, you know, I guess it depends on how you use it and stuff. And it does have some really cool colors in it. And I do kind of appreciate the color story of it. But then I thought it looks a little similar to, I guess not like too similar, but it does look a little similar to my Fizzy Art Dark Mattes that I just got super on sale recently. I thought it kind of looked like this, but then I saw a different picture and it didn't look the same at all. So I have no idea what this palette actually looks like. And that really stresses me out because it's like, what are people buying? Do people know what they've bought? <laughs> what does it actually look like? So I feel like I can't really trust any image of it. I, you know, this is a product you need to go to the store and see it yourself because I've seen it in like so many different lights and it just doesn't look the same. Like in this picture, it looks really dark and like, you know, muted and stuff. And in this other one, it looks so much brighter and different. And it's like, are these even the same palette? I'm confused, but whatever, I guess. Um, she's also, oh, I'm definitely not buying these, by the way, in case like that was even a question. Um, so she's also releasing a holiday eyeshadow palette. Um, I thought she would have done many, but she didn't. So it looks like this, hmm, it's a little bit similar um, to like her old star palette, like the left side of her star palette, which it has like these golds and like browns and like this deepened teal kind of color. It 
it looks really similar to that. It just kind of looks like an expanded version of that part of her star palette. Um, I think this is a cool scheme, but a little done, you know? It looks kind of similar to the Smashbox Sunlit Yellow palette, if you're looking for something cheaper, but kind of similar. There it is. Um, I am a little bored by this, but then again, Natasha Denona never really seems to impress me all that much. I kind of like the Tropic palette, but it's very expensive, you know, to drop that kind of money on something that it's like, I don't really need this, and it's really silly. Um, so, yeah, just, I mean, it's a nice, like, neutral palette um, to go from day to night, and if that's something that you're interested in, you have the money, go for it by all means, because it looks really nice. Um, anyway, that's all for Natasha Denona because the hoe is expensive. So what else do we got? There's so much. I don't even know where to go anymore. Museum of Ice Cream and Sephora Collection are collaborating and they're making um, some little Claire's makeup. You know, I guess it's cute. I will say though, the brushes they're releasing, so cute. I think those are super dope. Um, but they're like $64 and I think that's so lame. So lame. Like, why? But alright, because it comes with that big clutch, that's why. Anyway, I think they're really cute with like the sprinkles. Um, but they have this, like, popsicle palette, which, um, I guess is, like, nice or whatever, but, like, it's just this whole, like, the rest of the collection, seem I mean, the whole collection really seems to be geared toward a much younger audience, which I guess is smart because holidays, like, the time when, like, I don't know, people go and they buy, like, people that don't use makeup on the reg like we do, they kind of go out and buy that. And I guess it's nice to have stuff geared toward that audience because a lot of things in Sephora are geared more toward an older audience or people who are more like makeup experts, I guess. Like they're just, you know, they've been doing it a longer time than the 14 year olds that are going to buy this, if that makes sense. Um, so I think it's like a decent collection. It's, it's nice to see something fun. Sephora always has like these really fun um, little pop collections. So it's cute. I do really like the blood brushes though. I think those would be a super cute like display piece, but that's like the thing is like I'm not going to pay $64 for like a display piece. Anyway, Sigma released blush palette. Oh, what? Sigma released a blush palette and a bronzer palette, and my question to that is who asked for these? Um just I don't know. I think everyone's kind of pushing past these face palettes. I think we're all starting to realize that we don't use all the products that are in them. I'm still kind of like trying to come to that realization that I really don't use all the products in a face palette and I have like too many face palettes and I just won't get rid of them. So I would recommend watching reviews on this and really deciding if you need this as an individual, like this whole palette, unless you're super brand loyal, then I mean, do whatever you want. But these are not anything I'll be picking up. They're just not anything that interests me very much and they're all colors that I seem like I already have. So. I'm just a little bored by that. I thought this was a pretty smart release of this is from Mac. So they're releasing two new of their like girls eyeshadow palettes. Um, I haven't seen the Smarty Pants one, but I um, they did open the Pretty Punk one, which I think is really cool. I'm not gonna buy this. I honestly think these palettes are like a super waste of packaging. Like I don't like the layout of it. Um, and usually I don't like the color stories of them, but I do really think, I mean, I like this one. I think this one is really fun. They've got like some really nice pops of color, some cool tones. I think it's really interesting. Um, but for what it is, I don't think it's worth it. But I really like like that green that's in there and that blue and that big ass pink. Ooh, excuse me, that big pink. So I think that's a really cute release. Um, it just says coming soon, but I think it's smart of them to make something like really fresh like that because their other palettes were super boring. Um, they also, where'd it go? I also saw that they are making a new Hyper Real Glow highlighting palette. Now, MAC, I should have said this earlier, kind of with the girls' palettes, but they don't really impress me much with what they do, so I just don't ever, like, find myself, like, craving to buy from them, you know? Like, they just don't interest me. Um, but I will say, though, I have one of their Hyper Real Glow palettes in the Flash and Awe, like, the pinky rose kind of colored one. So good, like... That is a palette that is super worth it. I can use all three shades in there and I love them. I think that this is like a really good value and it's really good quality, which is saying something because I feel like MAC does not seem to have, you know, like the upper hand like it used to. So these palettes are like really outstanding. So I honestly can't wait to see swatches and reviews of this because if it's the same quality as the, um, the rose, the rosy colored one, 
I, I'm, I'm gonna get it. Like I like this a lot, so I can't wait to see it come to Ulta. Because, dude, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. Like I want it. I do. Viziart released their Grand Pro Volume Two palette. So their last one was all matte. The Grand Pro one was all matte, and this one is all metallics. And honestly, it's, <laughs> it's pretty. It's super pretty. But do you need an all metallic palette for like? $200. Actually, I don't know how much this actually is, but it's up there. Okay. It's like, these are, <laughs> these are expensive. So really, really think about how often you're going to use this palette for the price tag you're going to pay for it. It's gorgeous though. Some of these colors are like really unique and beautiful. And I think that they're really fun. They, they look like they're going to be super like glittery and like just shiny, metallic, beautiful colors. I'm just saying, with all the metallic palettes that Urban Decay is releasing, I'm sure you can find stuff really similar to this much cheaper. That's just my two cents on that. So ColourPop is releasing a fall collection, an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter palette, Supernova shadows, and I believe a lipstick collection. Yes. So, okay, that's it. Anyway, honestly, I'm super excited for these. I always get really excited for ColourPop palettes. Um, I have a few of them, not all, but I have several of them. And honestly, I think anyone will speak to their quality. They are awesome, awesome palettes. Like, if you are looking for shadows that will never, like, mess you up, that they're so easy to blend, they're very user-friendly, and they're just, like, beautiful, vivid, awesome shadows that won't fall all over your face, this is it and they're affordable that's what's crazy is these palettes are like $16 which is so affordable and I think that I'm, I'm they're just they're so good they're so good I can't speak enough of these palettes they're awesome so they're releasing this um palette right here this is the good sport palette um I kind of wish they named it something more animalist like animal themed because of the print I don't know whatever I love 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 the purples in this palette um i'm really excited because i've got like the, this like is that like a greenish deepish greenish kind of color on i don't know i'm so excited by this palette i really 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 want it so i totally plan on picking this up my plan right now is yes there are some things that i do want to buy but I'm in the zone right now where I am not buying anything unless it is on sale. So right now, typically my plan is to wait for a VIB sale, Ulta coupon, because um, they typically kind of come out at the same time, and Black Friday sales. Because that's kind of when... It's just starting to get that time, you know? It's like, why am I going to spend all my money now full price when times are coming up where I'm going to get them discounted? So that is what I mean when I say I'm going to get them, is I'm gonna just going to wait until they go on sale because that's just the best route to take at this time. Going back. Anyway, I do totally plan on picking this up. Um, I am waiting for a sale because I do want to get that one as well as the Kathleen Lights Zodiac palette. And maybe now that they have a new palette out, that one will finally go on sale. I've been just waiting for it to go on sale. Um, I'm also kind of interested in the highlighter palette and here is why. Um, and I'm kind of going back and forth on if I'm going to get it or not because it's the Super Shock Cheek formula versus their pressed powder formula. And I really like their Super super Shock Cheek formula so much better. It's so much better than their powder formula. Um, I had both of their powder highlighter palettes. I got rid of both of them in my highlighter declutter and I was just like, I, I don't miss them. Like they, I never reached for them. I never noticed them in my collection. So I got rid of them because they were just, you know, taking up space. I got rid of all of my um, individual powder highlighters from them because they're just not as good as this formula. But I am going back and forth on it because one, I really don't need another highlighter palette. Two, this is their Super Shock Cheek formula, which is what I would want. But those come in like these like really secure packagings to make sure they don't dry out so it's kind of like it's just in this cardboard packaging that's just going to shut so is it going to be dried out like I'm a little nervous because I feel like it's not going to last as long as my other ones that I've had for years that are still good because I keep them so tightly wrapped in their packaging that they're never going to dry out or see the light of day so I don't know about that but the swatches look beautiful. I saw them on Duke Bat and they're gorgeous. 
I really want them, but I probably don't need this, but I am planning on picking up the eyeshadow palette. The Supernova shadows also look really gorgeous, but I have found with those that they're very hit or miss depending on the colors. I have a few and some work really well and are very similar um, to the Stila glitter and glows or shimmer and glows or whatever, but some of them will flake everywhere and crease horribly. So you need to be careful when you're buying these. I say just get a few colors here and there, maybe more in the lighter ranges um, versus the darker ones because I think those ones will do better than the darker colors in my experience with them. But they do look really pretty. So, and they're, you know, inexpensive. So they're worth the try in my opinion. But I am excited by this collection. There seems to be like a lot of highlighters and eyeshadows right now. I'm seeing a lot of highlighters and eyeshadows um, and that seems to be kind of the theme that's going on right now. Um, speaking of highlighters and eyeshadows, let's talk about the new Kylie and Jordan collection that just, um, released. I don't know if it's out yet. I don't think so. But, so, Jordan is, like, Kylie's best friend or whatever, and, um, I honestly have to say I can't stand the packaging. I, I think the packaging on this is so dip darn ugly, but like, you know, that's just my opinion and I'm sorry. I feel like that sounded really judgmental and mean, but I don't like it very much. The inside, however, is probably the best palette Kylie has released in a long time. It just, you know, it's more unique than anything she's made recently. So I am really proud to see something different from her. Um, I will say though, just for my sake of, I don't know, being a psychopath, in the palette, I do wish all the mattes would have been on top and all the shimmers on the bottom because I feel like that would just have looked more like clean and like, you know, but I don't know. I'm, I didn't make it. That's just my opinion. Some of these colors are really gorgeous. I love those two like purple shades towards the end. I know one's like more like of a gray and one's more of, like a purple purple. I love those colors though. I think they're really gorgeous and they have like this like mint shimmer that I think is stunning. So some of these colors are really unique and like nice, but this is not something I plan on picking up. Um, they also came out with a highlighter kit. And for a while, I really did want Kylie's Wet Set Highlighter Palette because it seemed to be like super good and kind of like almost like a cream to powder formula, which is kind of what I aim for, like I said, with the Super Shock Cheek shadows from ColourPop. Super Shock Cheeks highlighters, not shadows, sorry. Um, but they just kept selling out. So I just kind of stopped wanting it, you know, I kind of stopped caring because it was kind of like, what's the point of spending $52 on this? Do I even want it? Some of the shades in this highlighter palette honestly are really gorgeous. I love the shade Together Forever. That's kind of like, oh, excuse me. That's kind of the shade that's pulling me in the most with it. However, I know how expensive it's going to be. So I'm just kind of like avoiding it because I really don't need it. I believe they're also coming out with lipsticks. I have a few of Kylie's liquid lipsticks and they're fine. I don't think they're worth it. I think now that she's coming to Ulta, it's more like, okay, whatever, I guess. But like, you know, maybe people will be more accessible to buy. I, like they weren't worth the hassle of getting them is what I'm trying to say. They weren't worth the hassle of like going to her website and like buying through her website. And like, honestly, I, I did, it took, it took way too long to ship. It just seemed like too much of a hassle and it wasn't worth it at all. Um, they were just okay. They were just okay. And I've had better and I've gotten better for a lower price. So her lipsticks just like, no longer intrigue me, you know? So, um, outside of that, this collection is probably the nicest she's released in a while. So, I mean, props to her and props to Jordan because this is pretty decent, but I don't plan on picking any of it up. Another collection with best friends or whatever, that seems to be kind of the theme, <laughs> it's best friend collections. Dose of Colors and Katie, uh, Dose of Colors, Katie and Desi round two, um, just dropped. They released a full-on eyeshadow palette this time, not a quad, an actual palette. Two lip glosses, um, and they are bringing back the Fuego highlighter. Anyway, so they released Fuego and Mirage, and I believe Mirage is discontinued. Um, but Chasing the Sun is the new highlighter they are dropping, and quite frankly, I don't know how it looks any different from the other one that they released. Whatever, I guess. I Whatever. Um... So yeah, it's a really like dark gold bronzy kind of color and Fuego is a really light gold champagne situation. So they're both really pretty, I find, um, and they're going to be expensive. Um, so the Friendication palette looks like this. I'll talk about that real quick. Honestly, these shimmers look gorgeous. Like I was really into it when I saw that blue swatched and I thought that was so, so stunning. I honestly, like those all those shimmer shades speak to me for some reason. I really, I really want them. Like that green, that like super blacky blue glittery thing just below the, I, I'm, I'm really into this. 
And this palette is $55, so it's kind of hard to, like, want this and justify this because I'm looking at all these other shades that are in here. Like, I don't have... Like, I, like I, do I not have the this brown and this other brown and this other brown and this cream and this, like, pink? Like, do I... I have those in other palettes, so it's, like, $55 for these, like four and four three shimmer shades that like I've I, I don't really have is that worth it and my heart is like yes <laughs> I want it I think it's really pretty so I kind of want to see if it'll still be around <sighs> Should I buy this or wait for this? I, I need to sleep on it I need to sleep on it and see how I feel see if it's still in stock by the time a sale rolls around I don't know I really like it I really do like it. I, I do kind of want it. And that's really weird for me because it's a lot of neutrals, you know? So it's like, why do I want this? Maybe it's just the shimmers. I'm really into it though. And I honestly do kind of want to get Fuego. I missed it the last time and I really did like that highlighter. Not like I need another champagne highlighter, but why? I kind of want it. They're also releasing two lip glosses um, over the top, which is re-promoted. And the most is one of their collabs, I believe. And they also have two velvet mattes in my main in a mauve story. Okay, and then two matte lipsticks in Hey Girl and Aftermath. So Dose of Colors lip products are honestly so good. I, <laughs> they just cannot be beat. And um, I have one collaboration lipstick from them, and it's the I Love Sarahi Aesthetic. And it's honestly the same formula as their other Dose liquid lipsticks. And I think that they're so good. Honestly, I just I I just bought like four in the Ulta sale. These are stunning, stunning, and they stay on through the longest honest like even when I eat I find that they're still on my lips and I, I just love them a lot so I do think this is a boss collection I think that they did a really good job with this I think it's gonna be really accessible um to a lot of um customers because it is going to be at Ulta as well as the Dose of Colors website and I think that this will speak to a lot of people so I mean congrats on them this is gonna be be a, a total like cash cow for them like this is this is a good collection so kim kardashian released this cherry blossom collection um the joke is that it looks literally almost exactly like her last collection <laughs> lol because it totally does like the biggest thing with this collection is that there's blushes and that's kind of the only like thing to be really noted in this is that there's blushes involved now you have to remember her pan sizes are basically eyeshadows so be aware and i think that there is a part of us that can be like well do we even use full size blushes i mean if you have a makeup collection like me or like you know a more unmanageable one like you don't have one or two blushes yeah for sure you're not gonna run through this but for the price of it is that worth it to you i don't know it's 18 bucks which is i feel like decent for like kim kardashian but like Still, I don't want to spend 18 bucks for this little tiny pan. Like, that's not a good value to me. So I find that just a little, like, ugh, crushing. You know, like, oh, God, I don't want that. Um, her lipsticks, honestly, some of them, like, are nice and different. But some of them are, like, they look virtually the same. Like, one through four look virtually the same to me. I um, mean, her eyeshadow palette is just nothing notable. It's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty, but... Cherry Blossom is not what I would have named this collection. It just seems a little bit boring. It's kind of like the classic part two. Just a little, you know, whatever. But I guess I have to remember this is very on brand for Kim Kardashian. This is something I would expect her to release. And it look it's like something I would expect her to promote. Like this looks like something she would have made, right? She doesn't wear rainbow colors. So why would I expect her to make a rainbow palette, you know? But, I mean, hell no, not buying any of this. No. No. Disgusting. Morphe released the Boss Mood Palette, the 35M Boss Mood Palette, $24. This is the most creative thing they've come up with to this day. Honestly, like, yeah. I think they're dare to create... No, I, I say that. That's a lie. That's a lie. Their 35B was the best palette, most creative palette they've ever come out with. Because it was, like, nice and, like, had all the colors that you needed to make a nice rainbow look. And it was super, super dope. However, I think... Okay, so anyway, what do I say? This is, a, like, this is a nice palette. This is a nice-looking palette. Recently, they seem to be releasing just browns upon browns upon browns upon browns. And it's, like... <laughs> what are you doing? Like, the whole point of Morphe was that they were making these big products 
for artists to use and they just seem to be making the same thing over and over again as if these artists didn't already have these products so it's nice to see them do something different because it was much needed like much needed um so thank god the first two robes of this palette are honestly mad dope like these yellowy slimy greens are so pretty i think that this is really smart like that top row alone super cool and then it kind of goes into like this reddish pinkyish purple kind of situation at the bottom which i i would not have put those together but i guess and i could kind of see them making a lot of real like really different looks with this palette so i do think it's really cool if it comes to Ulta, I would consider getting it, um, maybe using like a coupon for it or something, because I think it has a lot of promise to it. And again, I really do like those first two rows. So I think this is a good release for them and, you know, props to them because they were getting mad boring. Estee Lauder is launching three shades of their Bronze Goddess Illuminating Power Jelly Highlighters. I hate how much word that is. Don't like it. Um, so they're bringing back Heat Wave, which was everybody's, like, everyone pooped their pants for that highlighter, and it was horrible. Like, it, it was just, no one shut up about it for, like, a long time. Like, what was that? There was, like, a brief period where nobody let it go, but then everybody stopped talking about it. I think it's because it was discontinued, um, but whatever. Anyway, they're bringing back Heat Wave, and they're making Solar Crush and Mirage, and they're pretty much just, like, deeper shades. One's, like, a very like pinky bronze kind of color i believe that one is mirage and then solar crush is gonna be like a gold color um so they do look really dark on the website but in this one picture they look a lot lighter um i am kind of interested in a heat wave i've skipped out on it the past few times i've seen it come back um because one it's like 47 dollars, and two it's like is this going to go out of stock again like it's just kind of one of those things where it's like if it's just gonna keep coming in and out of stock, like, I don't, I don't want it, you know, like, that doesn't make me want to buy it, um, I don't know, that just, that just kind of, like, it makes me feel weird, it makes me feel real weird, but I am glad to see them expanding that line, because Heatway was, like, the thing, like, the jam for the longest, and I think it was the only highlighter that they had, so I am excited to see them expand that range, because I think that's gonna be a really good, um, development for their brand. This is brand new, just saw this, speaking of highlighters. Maybelline and Nikki Tutorials just dropped one of their Master Chrome highlighters and this is in the shade Pearl, I believe. I don't actually know what she's calling it. What is it called? I don't know. It just says 250 and it's like a pearl color. So it's like white people highlight. I'm actually super excited because their other ones are really dark. So the gold one is workable and the rose gold one is workable and I have really pasty skin. You just have to be careful and not like layer it on and they will still be really blinding um, and not like, you know, stripey. So you can make them work if you're a fair skin person, but it, you know, it just kind of takes a little extra skill um, and a little patience in blending. So that's why I'm really excited because this formula is so good. And for $10 at the drugstore, it can just like not be beat. This is a great powder formula. So I'm really excited to see, you know, like them come out with like a whitish champagne-ish highlighter. So honestly, hell yeah, Nick Tutorials, that's it. This is a great release. Um, very excited about this. This has been added to my Ulta Loves and I'm very excited about it so that's um, it's a good release i'm just i'm i'm, I'm proud i'm proud because i was waiting for this i was waiting for this it's about time makeup revolution now live on their website i think you can order this to us they're in pounds right now but so they have some halloween stuff available and honestly i'm pretty much wanting to talk about this for these Four little liquid highlighter shades they're probably going to be like more duochrome and like a not really wearable kind of like this blood of my enemies red like highlighter or whatever but this packaging yo is so cool I love skulls I love skulls I think they're so cool um you I don't know if you can tell back here but like what I keep my little um sponges in it's a skull and I have two and I keep them on my little beauty boxes here. So I keep one there, Ooh, I'm making a mess, and I keep one um, over here on this side and they're both different colors and I have a third one over by my record player and my um, salt lamp and I, I love schools. So I'm really excited about this packaging and the fact that it's affordable is like, mm, thank God because I, I want one. I just want one for display. I know that's stupid. I don't care. I want one. These look so cool. They look so cool. So they have a couple other like 
little themes like eyeshadow palettes that I think are like lame or whatever and then like a um, SFX paint palette which honestly I'm kind of into like trying. I'd be down to try that and see if it's any good because I mean I don't like to spend a lot of money on like Halloween themed makeup because I'm, I'm just not good at like FX makeup yet and I would like to be but I don't want to spend a lot of money on it you know just yet like especially just to practice so I would like to get you know more acquainted with it so I think I might try some of this like effects makeup because Dude, effects makeup is mad fun. Last year I, I did this like pumpkin um like cut face cut thing and it was like honestly my favorite thing ever. It took me like five hours and it was like the best look I think I've ever done and it was just super fun and it wasn't even like that good. It was just fun. So I kind of want to try some of this effects stuff. This is more of like a holiday kind of release but I thought I would mention it in here in case anyone else is interested in affordable effects makeup. I'm just really excited about it. So yes, I'm totally picking up one or two of those stupid little school highlighters because I love schools, yo. I love schools. I think they're so cool. Anyway. Okay, so they finally uh, dropped. Okay. So on the, oh my God. NYX finally dropped their uh, machinist. I believe that's what it is. Cause I can't imagine what else it would be. Their machinist collection. So it's three palettes in grind, ignite and, and steam. The three highlighter duos in grind, ignite and steam and three what is it? Lip lacquers and lipsticks in Grind, Ignite, and Steam. So there's three of everything and these, how many, like, I, I, you know, you know, um, I'm a little bored with the lipsticks. I kind of just like glaze over lipsticks at this point because like, I don't really need them. I've got a really big collection of lipsticks more so than I already need. And I've already decluttered like half of them already. And like, it's still bad. So it's like, I don't really need them. So I kind of just like overlook them, but they're, they're like nice, you know, muted colors. They're pretty. Um, so they have the highlighter duos. I am a little interested in, I think it's Ignite is the one that I want. Cause it's like this opal and like this light bronzy kind of color. And those look really pretty. Um, I'm super into those. So I kind of want to pick that one up. It's on my, um, favorites at Ulta so I can keep my eye on it. Um, I do kind of like this purpley and blue colored one. I know I would never use it, but I do think it's kind of cool. And they also have a gold and deeper bronze shade, which I'm going to kind of just like skip because it's, I feel like that's not really fair, to, fair toned friendly. I don't really think it's fair skin friendly, but still pretty. Just letting you know that it's there. Um, so the three palettes, yo, honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about it. Looking at um grind, by the way, looks a little bit like um the Safari palette by Natasha Denon. Just like a little bit, but like is there? So maybe you can buy that one before you buy that big old honking expensive thing. I don't know. I I think I should just come out and say that I don't like them. Because I feel like I'm having to, like, convince myself to like them. Because they're not, like, atrocious, but they're just, like, not schemes that I would go for. And I don't see myself buying and reaching for any of these, logically. So, for the eyeshadow palettes, I'm sorry to say that, like, I am just not interested. I'm just not interested. I'm really bored with these, actually. I don't, I don't want those. Um, so it's 25 each for the palettes, which is, I feel like, more expensive for NYX, which is stupid and annoying, considering those palettes that they released, like, the brights and the neutrals ones, those were, like, $18, and they, I think, had more shades than this, so it's like, dude, seriously, chill out, <laughs> like, what, are, why are you getting so expensive? Um, the duos are $12, and the lipsticks are 8 and 7 so it's like, uh, it's a little expensive, but... I, I'm not interested in anything else. I'm probably going to get the Ignite Duo, and that's it. That's kind of the only thing that interests me in this collection. I wanted this to be more than it was, but maybe there's a market for these people. It's got some cool tone shades that I think are really nice, but it's not for me, which is sad because I wanted it to be for me. Okay, wow, I guess that's it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. That is all for this Oversaturation Nation like new releases garbage um there's been a lot thank you for watching uh hopefully this isn't stupid long i don't actually know how long this is actually gonna be but like it feels like i didn't talk for very long 
but I feel like I covered a lot of bases. So, yeah. Hopefully it's not, like, over 30 minutes, but knowing me, it probably will be. So, thank you guys again for watching, um, and, yeah, maybe I'll post another one. I'm kind of, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like, do I want to do YouTube? I don't know. It's, it's fun for me. I don't take it seriously, and I think it's, like, a good time. But I keep going back and forth. I would kind of like to do, like, some movie commentary stuff. I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do both? Can I do both? I um, don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. Maybe I'll keep sticking with YouTube. I'm not entirely sure. I keep going back and forth if I want to do this. But it's kind of nice to talk into this camera about, like, new products. I don't know why, but every time I see a new product, I get kind of excited to, like, make this video. And I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to keep doing it until I get really bored of it. But, um... Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go take a shower and I have a patty melt in my fridge that I've been saving to eat today. So that's gonna happen. And bye guys, see ya.